welcome, and today we're going to be playing as France, and we're going to be playing as France, because France, well, we haven't played France yet, and it's, you know, it's a world power, so you, know, you can do fun things, and the first thing we're going to do as France is make sure Prussia never gets any ideas like forming a Germanic state by, you know, making sure that Prussia can own all of Prussia, because Prussia's enemy number one. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to ally yourself with countries like the United Kingdom. because you, not, not because I really care about this alliance, but because them being allied with me means that they won't go, go to war with me whenever I invade Prussia in, in a couple minutes. Because that's the real issue so far, is that another country could ally with Prussia and make them a very serious threat. So it's time to go to war with Prussia. Oh, we got our... Well, we've got our reasonings and declarations, so we can go take a piece, we can take a chunk out of them. Uh, we could take Silesia, it would hurt them pretty bad. So everyone that I care about is going to accept. Uh, sorry, Morocco, but you aren't quite the power. I might mobilize, I might not. I'm going to see how it works, because usually I, I don't mobilize, I just kind of saw down it. The, the, the opposing countries' mobilized armies. We've won a war, we released Westfallen or Westphalia, uh, kind of split Prussia in half. I plan to annex this, and so then, well, Prussia's already a weak, in a weaker position, so that's good. So, uh, well, the Jacobins have risen up, meaning my country is just gonna, you know, die, because this is the, this is the first wave, I can't wait for, like, the 18th wave, in which, you know, the people of France, as expected, will probably, you know, overthrow my government and make it so I can't tax the poor. So, our truce with, with Prussia has run out, meaning I'm gonna go take some personal French land that will revolt against me from Prussia, so, you know, I can further my goals of turning Prussia into a weak little state that sandwiches in between French territory and Russia. So the event has fired that makes it so we declare war on Mexico. Uh, I've kind of brought in, well, I am about to bring in, there we go, I've brought in Britain to, you know, go seize Mexico. So, you know, I can just have a bit of a distraction from ruining Prussia's existence. My idea of going to war with Mexico through the event might have been a bad idea because uh, I've kind of fed more land to the British monster. I don't know why I, d I just said yes to invade Mexico, but you know, now I got British Guatemala. Thank you, Britain, for just making yourself even bigger. So we can go ahead and declare war on Prussia and take a little chunk of the Rhineland. One thing I did notice that was annoying is that, well, uh, look at it. There's just a bunch of tiny states in the Rhineland that are going to be a big bother to deal with. Because Prussian Rhineland, Prussian Palatate, Prussian East Rhineland is just something I don't want to have to deal with because that's going to be a whole lot of infamy. All for that. That is 33 infamy if at the max. I don't think that's 33 infamies worth of land. If you've ever wondered how dumb the Victoria 2 AI is, I'm about to go wipe the floor with their army, and they're even thinking that maybe they should flee. So if you've ever wondered if you've fallen far, you could be like Prussia, which has uh, currently zero military score, and the Ottoman Empire is a, is a greater power than Prussia is. Yeah, I don't think Prussia's ever going to come back from this. Also, um, Britain separate pieced me, and which is kind of annoying because I was planning on taking all of this. So, um, rebel armies have risen up on the Rhineland, and I think that's going to happen for the rest of the game in any of my German lands. So, I went ahead and looked at the province of Cologne because there was a massive army rising up here, and I noticed something. So, the army size that rises up here as rebels is 114,000 people. This province currently has 98,000 people in it, meaning more people are rising up in the Rhineland, in this one province in the Rhineland, than there are people total in the entirety of that province. 
So, uh, Italy formed. It's missing a couple chunks. Uh, as you can see, you know, Tuscany, most importantly, it's missing its, its you know, capital in real life, Rome. Also, uh, I fed some land to Serbia. I don't see how them owning any of this land is going to cause any sort of trouble in the future. Besides that, uh, the Rhineland has grown a bit. And... I don't think Prussia's feeling too good. Yeah, I don't think they're feeling too good at all. So, just a reminder to never up the British as an ally, because I invaded Belgium. They wouldn't join the war to protect... to invade Belgium, but they also wouldn't join the war to protect Belgium. So, as a result of that little, like, non-intervention idea, Belgium is just Flanders. So, Serbia's been going on a rampage to go get all of its cores off the empires, of uh, the Ottoman Empire and Austria, because they're both not doing so hot, and, yeah, Serbia's growing fast. Just gonna give that update because one of the main goals of this video was to actually form a Yugoslavia. So some may call my mobilizing before a war is about to happen a bit stupid, but if you know it's about to happen, this right here is probably gonna be the smartest move because Serbia keeps going ham on the Ottoman Empire, and either that happens or Prussia does this, or an event pops up that makes it so we instantly declare war on Prussia, or I lose like half my prestige. So things aren't going well for Austria-Hungary, because they lost war to Serbia and Montenegro, and they lost it within like three months, which is so fast that even though I was a part of the war, my response, like the, the units I would send in response to help them, couldn't even get there in time. So you know, I don't think Austria-Hungary is doing well, and the Ottoman Empire is doing much worse, because I just lost a war to Egypt. Egypt is not even a westernized nation, and they lost a war to it. I don't think the Ottomans are going to come back from this. So, a bit of an update is that uh, I got the rest of Algeria. Um, so, I did kind of expand my little reach in the Balkans by liberating Bulgaria. Montenegro and Serbia have grown. Uh, lost the alliance with the UK. Not the best. I'm allied to Russia now. Um, I think Romania is going down a different path. As I look right there. Uh, but now I've been kind of increasing my holdings. I'm not super interested in colonization this game. I kind of want to just create Yugoslavia because I'm thinking about maybe doing that later. Since I have do, do a bit of interest in maybe doing a Serbia game at some point in the future. So I have gone to war with Austria-Hungary, and as you can tell, it's not going well for them. For some reason, according to the game, I'm losing that battle, but uh, if you look at it, I'm quite obviously not. I don't understand this game sometimes. Okay, I know what's going to happen. Though. The Austro-Hungarians are going to continue to feed it until... Uh, until this happens and I get like, I'm, this is probably gonna be a, like a butt ton of war score. Oh! Yeah. It certainly did. It gave me a fifth 67 war score. Yeah, I don't think the Austrians are gonna like my peace deal. It, oh my, look at, the military score was at like 160, it's at 28. Yeah, I don't think Austria is coming back from that. <laughs> They're just gone. We did it. We formed Yugoslavia. They're here. That means the goal of the episode is still done. I'll probably play for a couple years after that and wrap it up, but... Yeah, uh, my country kind of became unstable, so... Got a lot of debt now. Yay. The great powers are kind of broken. Possibly because of me, but... At the Empire of Mexico is a is a more influential power than Italy. Uh, Japan's just straight up broken, and thanks to me not, and thanks to like me owning the Rhineland, the, the North German Federation will never be able to become Germany because they'll never be able to take Austria's terrain. So you know, I think I kind of broke this game by taking some lands that I shouldn't have. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video off here. Uh, there I. Formed Yugoslavia, took part of Indochina, haven't taken all of it. Uh, took parts of Algeria, really didn't care about the colonial stuff, I just kind of wanted to go mess around with Europe, which I certainly did. Uh, so, yeah. The Rhineland. 
Uh, there's French Rhineland, and yeah, there's Yugoslavia. So that's kind of what I did this game. If you thought this video was good, then please like and subscribe, and bye.